We started off just thinking, well, okay, we're not really a band, we have to support this other band. We don't really move about any at all on stage. Not too so scared. We, yeah, we have to really think of some kind of, we don't have a drummer thrashing away at the back, so we have to think of some kind of visual uh, incentive for people to come and see us. So that's when we started using slides. Uh, first done by a woman called Catherine, who had an extensive collection of pathology slides. <laughs> she used to show. Yeah. Clean this, Slices of this long piece of gristle <laughs> with a ruler by the side of it. We never did figure out what part it actually was. Yeah, it was quite, quite gruesome. But uh, so we started with that, using that kind of stuff, and that kind of got um, it got uh, augmented by the addition of uh, video, which is was and still is done by a guy called Bill Mullen, who's a video artist in Vancouver, and he. Uh, basically did the video equivalent of what we did with audio stuff, sampling and looping and uh, mixing. And he would do that live, and still does do that live. Mm. So I, I think that's that's quite a big contribution to the way you look live. So it's a bit different from going and seeing a band that just, you know, stand and play songs. Well, I'm just confused, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, well, I guess, obviously they're, they're personal, but their reactions to all sorts of different things. Uh, some relationships and friends, well, not, not, not relationships as in, you know, but uh, contact with people, and reactions to different people, and different ideas and things. Most of them, I guess, are fairly uh, not obscure. What's the word? A linear, something like that. It's, it's not typical. Friendly. It's not boy meets girl. No. They have a fight, they make up. Mm -hmm. No, we're trying to avoid things like that. <laughs> trying to avoid anything that tells a story, pretty much. You can't help but be political. But, um, yeah. We're not in your face about it either, I don't think. I do think politics does belong in music, though, personally. Probably. Well, it's part of who we are. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't see how you can avoid it, how you can dissociate yourself from yeah. things you believe in. I have a hard time with any band saying that politics doesn't belong in music. Because People are political. Even if you're, even if you're apathetic, it's still political. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, we're we're political no, people, but it doesn't really come through in the music. I mean, well, it does sometimes. I mean, uh, in certain songs that that have a, a feminist bias or a an anti-establishment bias or whatever, I mean, it is there, but it's not in your face. I think in the way that Jane's saying that the lyrics are obscure, they're deliberately obscure so that you can you know, take, get your own story out of them. And that goes for the political messages too, you know, you can, you can get that out of it if you want to, but you don't have to. When we had our interview with Terry David, the first, the first concern when we told him what our video was, he looked on the back of the CD and said, David, it's six minutes long, I hope your video wasn't six minutes long because, you know, that's certain depth for a video. And it's like, well, how would you know that if you haven't seen it? Surely it depends how good the video is, but mm -hmm. the answer is no, because you can cram two videos between ad breaks to three and a half minutes long. If it's six minutes long, it's an awkward length. Yeah. You know, do we stick another video in? And, uh, you know, Unless yeah. you're Michael Jackson and make yourself yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah, Madonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... And then it doesn't matter. Because you're paying your own advertising costs. Yeah. With your, yeah, exactly. with your video. <laughs>